In the last video, I demonstrated how to divide polynomials using a long division procedure where we divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then start over. And rather than do a problem in a long, drawn-out fashion, I, I thought I'd set one up for you and give you some time to, if you don't understand it, uh, then copy it down, bring it to class, and let's talk about it. But basically, you want to find out what times x will give you x to the third power. It's x squared. That's the divide part. Step two is multiply. So you take x squared, multiply it in to both terms, and you get um, x to the third power minus 2x uh, squared. The subtract part means to add the opposites. So I put the opposite signs in red, and then you just add straight down x cubed plus a negative x cubed is 0x cubed, 6x squared plus 2x squared is 8x squared. And then you bring down the next term, which is our negative x, bring that down, and then start over. You do the whole process for the x terms, and then the whole process for the constant term. So if you don't understand that, please just copy down what we've got here. Try and understand it. Just you know, remember how to do long division and see how that works. Um, but I wanted to show you using this problem. I wanted to show you something called synthetic division. And synthetic division um, takes the principles of long division and kind of uses those principles against themselves to really, I think, make things a lot easier. Now remember, the key step here is this step where we are adding the opposite. We are subtracting. So what we'll do is we'll build that in. Let's take a look at our divisor. Remember, this is called the dividend. And this is called the divisor. And we'll take a look at our divisor. And we'll look for the term, the constant term there, which in this case is a negative 2. So one thing we also want to notice is that the coefficient of the x in our divisor is a 1, and that's going to become important. I, in another video I'll show you how to use this synthetic division when uh, our divisor has a, a coefficient greater than 1 on the x, but for now uh, this 1 is going to allow us to make things pretty simple. Um, so since we've already built in the, the idea of synthetic divisions to already build in that adding the opposite, we're going to go ahead and take uh, the, the constant in the divisor, which is 2, and we're going to put it on a division line. Now your book uses a strange looking division line. I've seen it other ways. I've seen it where we divide that into um, our dividend this way. But we'll go with what the book does and use our division line thusly. So here's our 2, and it goes into our division line like that. And then we'll just bring all the coefficients of the dividend. So the coefficient of the first num number, x cubed, is a 1. The coefficient of the second number, 6x squared, is a 6. The coefficient of the third term is a negative 1x, and finally the constant or the coefficient of the x to the 0 power is a negative 30. So here's how synthetic division works. We will just bring down that first term there. So that's 1. And then we take and we multiply 2 times that 1, and that'll give us the second part. So 2 times 1 is 2. And now we add those in because we've already built in the subtraction part. So 2 times, I mean, 6 plus 2 is 8. We multiply 2 times 8 and we'll get a positive 16. And negative 1 plus 16 is a 15. And we will multiply 2 times a positive 15 and we'll get a positive 30. Wrong color. Positive. 30 and negative 30 plus 30 is 0. And here is how the beauty of synthetic division works. 
since we started with an x cubed, then our first term, our first term will be x to the second power. Let's do that. Let's keep consistent with our colors here. Our first term will be x to the second power. And then our, these are coefficients in descending order. So it's x to the second power, it's a positive 8, plus 8x, that's a positive 15, so that'll be plus 15, and we have no remainders, so this is our solution. In a future video, we'll try uh, doing a couple more using synthetic division so you can see, get more practice at it.